Well, we're back. We had a great time. Uh, Belize was fabulous, as it always is. And uh, we enjoyed the sights very, very much. The weather was great. This is the resort we stayed at. It's called the Placencia. It's a very nice place, very well run on the southern part of the uh, peninsula, pretty close to the town. This is the famous iguana tree there. There's, there's about nine iguanas that live in the tree. This one is, is kindly referred to by the, by the employees as the big boy. And uh, this was a very large iguana. He was about five or six feet long. He must have weighed 80 pounds. He was a beast. He, I don't think he ever left the tree. He was always hanging out there. And this is the entrance. It's a very nicely landscaped. Lots of tropical plants and flowers uh, blooming all the time. Um, they're constantly cleaning uh, and clipping and so forth, removing uh, coconuts from the coconut trees uh, because they like to get them out of there where they don't fall and hit somebody on the head. But they do serve them up. If they cut them down, they bring them over. The fellow with a machete very nicely will get it ready for you and give you a straw and you can drink it. Um, this is the pool. It has, the, uh, this has a very large pool. I was told it's the largest pool in the country. Uh, it is enormous and uh, is a uh, waist high. You can't dive into it. You'll crack your head on the bottom, which is a good thing. And uh, these are the buildings that uh, the, the guests stay in. And they're quite nice. They're very airy, well air conditioned, very modern, uh, very well kept, uh, beautifully landscaped, as you can see. Um, we stayed in the building uh, further to the right. As you move here to the left, you're going back sort of towards the uh, entrance to the property here. And uh, this is the, the path that le leads down to the, to the water from the different rooms. The pool is on your right. And uh, this is, uh, again, just another view. This is the building on the left there is the one that we stayed in. Um, this is where we were. And it was about a, all of a 20 second walk to the beach from what, I, you know, if you go out and go through the, between these buildings, you come out here. And uh, this is where my wife and I spent a number of days doing nothing but swimming, reading books, and uh, having a few cocktails and enjoying the uh, scenery. The staff was fantastic, I must say, also. Um, this is the beach. Every night, every day, they rake it, they clean it. Uh, it's as smooth as silk. Um, and they have these little, uh, uh, you know, thatched roofed uh, 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 buildings on the beach that you can sit under because the sun is ex intensely bright. It's extremely strong sunlight there. Um, and you, you want to be protected. Uh, you're going to pick up a lot of color in a hurry if you lay out in that sun. About 15 minutes is all anybody should do uh, on their first day there. Uh, and there's the rest of the beach. They had a marina and a pier. And these are some more of the rooms. Um, these are the beach, little beachfront houses that they had. They're very, very nice. We're going to be returning next year, and I think that's where we're going to be staying, we decided. And uh, here's the uh, pier with the 118-foot the yacht, the Rizalka, sitting out there. Never left while we were there. And uh, while we were there, we toured a bit. We went down to Nimli Punit, which is a Mayan uh, 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 area that wasn't known until the 1970s it was discovered. This is an area called the Ball Court. And uh, there I am uh, up against one of the old retaining uh, walls that went to the base of one of the temples. And here are some ruins, um, all those rocks. This is the top of what was a Mayan uh, ruin. And uh, there's some of the large trees, giant cedar trees, and uh, then one other day we went down and we went to some Mayan reserve and went to this waterfall on the Mayan property and I, I took a dip, uh, which they encouraged. The water is very cool. It's about 68 degrees, uh, absolutely lovely, uh, no matter what. You go there and it cools your whole body off for the day. And then later uh, we went down to this. This is a famous place in Belize and it's the Spice Farm and Botanical Gardens. It's operated by a, a doctor, a retired doctor from America, who was actually born and raised in India. And he came over and um, fell in love with Belize and built this botanical garden and spice farm. And they have all kinds of spices and herbs there. It's a beautiful property. All the buildings are made of cedar. And you can, we, we got a private tour of the place uh, uh, because it was a quiet day and uh, we, we, we got them to take us around. And it was absolutely fabulous. The, the flowers are beautiful. The smells, the scents, you got to taste all the spices that they grow, uh, and they grow sugarcane, they have hundreds of acres of orange plants and so forth, and it was absolutely lovely. The whole country is just uh, spectacularly beautiful as it was last time, and uh, um, I feel very relaxed, very uh, uh, happy to have been there, and uh, the food was also quite excellent. Uh, there were a number of very fine restaurants within 
um, a short distance of where we were staying, and the food at the resort was quite good as well. I, I shouldn't I shouldn't forget to say that they had very good food. Good, very they I loved their breakfasts in particular, um, and um, that was the trip. And we're back at it. As many of you know, I forgot my cell phone when I went down there. Um, so I was unable to record and upload any videos to YouTube because I couldn't verify uh, who I was. Uh, so we just had to give up on that and, and just enjoy the time that we had. And it was absolutely great. So now we're back and uh, all is well. So uh, thanks for your patience. We'll be putting out some videos later this week. But I just wanted to quickly show you what, uh, what we were doing down there and, and how it went. Okay, bye-bye. See you soon.